Okay, um, what I've got is just a basic 9 by 13 cake here. Um, this is the modification I've made to my son's cake. Um, I want to make it look more like it's a uh, rock, kind of deserty, kind of rocky thing, Craig, it's, it's standing on. And he uses up pretty much most of this cake. You can do a bigger cake, I suppose, depending on the size of your dinosaur. Make sure you measure that before you bake your cake, by the way. Um, but he, he'll sit on here, so I'm just going to cut just a little, a little jagged edges. This um, cake has just been sitting in the freezer for a few minutes, just to get it nice and firm. And I'm just pretty much going to just round off these corners here. Nothing uh, too artistic. It's just so it doesn't look so square. That's all it is. And we'll just cut a little bit of away. That's all. Because it's, it's a rock. And I'm just going to, you know, frost it in buttercream. So it's going to be very sloppy looking. And that's the idea. That's the plan I'm going with. I'm sticking with it. That way I don't have to be a perfect decorator. My son wasn't when he did it. He was only nine. And I did make him do stuff himself. He's entering the show. He's going to do it himself. So it was, you know, not, you know, it looked like a nine-year-old did it. Okay. So here, I've just kind of make it look like a piece of of rock and we're going to go ahead and frost that you can cover it in rolled buttercream or fondant if that's your desire but I'm just going to use regular buttercream what I'm doing now is just a quick crumb coat of frosting it's yellow in case you're wondering if I dyed it I did a little bit of yellow um, I'm going to add a little brown to it probably to make it look more like a rock deserty rock, but I just want to get some of those edges so we don't end up with crumbs coated. And again, this is not, you don't have to smooth and smooth and smooth with this cake. It's a rocky surface, so. The rockier, the better. Okay, all I did was put a couple drops of the brown in here, and I'm not going to mix it all the way. I want to keep it marbled because I want it to look like dirt. So, now we're going to smooth that on. Not too smooth. Okay, and then the sides. We're going to put some rocks on this. We've got candy rocks. We're just going to pipe ours or mold ours out of the fondant. A little smoother for right where he's going to stand. Okay, and we will neaten up along the bottom of this. So we don't have frosting all over the... Get this cleaned up. Mm -hmm. 